Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. The struggle for affordable housing in the Valley continues. You have to be making well over $100,000. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7 tonight. I'm Lena Bleitz. In business news, housing and rental prices in Las Vegas continue to rise, making it financially hard for locals to survive in an already inflated economy. LVRJ business reporter Patrick Blinnerhassett explains the main factors creating this problem. Two of the more crazier stats are that you now have to make as a household above the medium income in Las Vegas to afford the average rent in Las Vegas and then afford a mortgage in Las Vegas, as a household, you have to be making well over $100,000. So basically the average worker in Las Vegas is now being pinched by high rent and high mortgage costs. In lifestyle news, a $156 million grant will be used to give more people in Las Vegas access to solar power. The money would be used to boost the solar panel stock for single and multifamily homes and to help low-income households participate in clean energy programs. Solar energy advocates came together at the Desert Breeze Community Center to show how the money is expected to impact the community. The ultimate impact that we seek to achieve in Nevada impacts, I should say, include reducing energy cost burdens, improving air quality and health, tackling climate change, advancing energy justice, and creating high quality jobs. To read how you can apply for funding, visit LVRJ.com. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloomin' thing. We could see some rain tonight, possibly even a thunderstorm with a 15% chance of rain overnight and a low of 87 degrees. And the clouds should hang around the next two days, looking at a high of 110 tomorrow, 108 on Thursday, and back up to 110 on Friday with lows in the high 90s. Then this weekend, you can expect sunny skies with highs in the low 110s and lows in the low 90s. And next week, we could see a little more rain, but mostly sunshine with highs around 110 and lows around 90 degrees. Now to top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A new study found Nevada has the second highest increase in monthly bills, but customers using Envy Energy were advised they'd be seeing a decrease in their bills. So is that really the case? It's regular, no decreases at all, none last year. We at least try to cut down on the usage, but still the bill is like, I don't know what it is. It's, it stays the same, stays high, even though you cut down on it. I think it's been lower. I think they've kept the cost pretty low. NV Energy previously announced its rates would be lowered from July 1st to September 30th. Unfortunately, with more energy use due to the high temperatures, customers are seeing higher electric bills. Comment below if you've seen any relief in your electric bills as an NV Energy customer. A teen accused of killing a retired police chief in a hit and run will face accusations of elder abuse in addition to murder and other charges. An attorney for 18-year-old Jesus Ayala tried unsuccessfully to have the elder abuse component dropped in court today. Ayala and 17-year-old Zamir Keys are accused of using a stolen vehicle to strike 66-year-old Andreas Probst while he rode his bicycle. Ayala's public defender argued the elder abuse component was improperly applied, but District Judge Jacqueline Bluth disagreed. President Biden is busy in Vegas this week. Hear what he had to say at the 115th NAACP National Conference. President Biden mentioned approving $16 billion for HBCUs, changing criminal offenses for marijuana, and honoring police reform. Republicans blocked police reform in Congress. So I signed a historic executive order on police reform. I'm going to come back and we'll sign George Floyd and policing act in the law come hell or high water. Biden's Las Vegas trip will continue tomorrow when he'll speak at the Unidos U.S. annual conference. Sports sponsored by PT's Tavern is your place to watch all the sports action. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit ptstaverns.com. Three players with Vegas ties had their name called in the MLB draft this week. Chris Cortez, a Silverado alum who went to Texas A&M, was taken 45th by the Los Angeles Angels in the second round. Ty South has seen a shortstop out of basic and committed to Tennessee, was taken 120th overall by the Chicago Cubs. 
And last but not least, Coronado alum and UNLV product Austin Cates was taken by the Blue Jays at 217th overall. The MLB draft concludes today with rounds 11 through 20. In health news, brought to you by Centerwell Senior Primary Care. Discover primary care focused on you. A new pet ER is open in Las Vegas that allows owners to stay with their pets during treatments, including surgeries. <laughs> Veterinary Emergency Group, or VEG, is at 800 South Rampart Boulevard and is open for pet emergencies 24-7, including holidays. They also have an open floor plan where pet parents can get a close look at the treatments being done. VEG also offers easy access to veterinarians so pet owners can get their questions answered quickly. This is the second VEG in Nevada. The first is located in Henderson. Vegas Nation, sponsored by Sage Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders revealing their logo to commemorate their 65th season. The logo features a shield, the cross swords, and LXV across the middle. The letters are 65 in Roman numerals, with the LX representing the 60 years in California, also with the V representing the five years in Las Vegas. Also announced were special games to celebrate the history, the first of which in week three of the preseason against the San Francisco 49ers for Alumni Reunion Weekend, and their home opener in week three against the Panthers featuring a limited edition 65th anniversary merchandise drop. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Tiger Woods is in the field for the British Open at Royal Troon this week, despite Colin Montgomery's wishes, and the Westgate Superbook is offering several prop bets. The three-time Open winner is listed at 300-1 to to be the champion golfer of the year. Woods is a minus 300 favorite to miss the cut, and plus 250 to play the weekend at the Open for the first time since 2018. The total for his first round score is 73.5, with the over a minus 150 favorite and the under at plus 130. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Now that the Mirage is closing, you might be wondering what will happen to the large sculpture that honors Siegfried and Roy. We're proud to let you know that it has found a new home. Mirage president Joe Lupo says the gold painted piece will be donated to the Neon Museum. The sculpture just to the north of the Mirage Marquis was dedicated in 1993 with then owner and hotel founder founder Steve Wynn presiding. Siegfried and Roy headlined at the Mirage from 1990 to 2003. And be sure to watch 7 at 7 and visit LVRJ.com as we continue our coverage of the Mirage's closing on its last day. Remember, you can watch 7 at 7 twice a day, Monday through Friday, and search Review Journal to follow us on your favorite streaming platform. See you tomorrow morning for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.